to give up! Stay away from my son! Come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it? So be it. Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. Wow, it's cold. This is hell? Not just hell. Worst place in hell you could have put us. I see a ship. Get us there. 
It only takes us halfway to Tyr's temple, but at least it gets us far from here. For a thousand mortal lifetimes, the bridgekeeper kept the living out of this place. But now that you've ripped his heart out, here we are. Funny how it all comes around. About mother. Boy. That wasn't me. Was that? Not just the old and sick come to Helheim, so do the criminals. Hell must not draw a distinction between us and those whom these visions are meant to torture. How do we stop it? Escape Hell, as soon as possible. I'm not gonna let it bother me. Like you said, Mimir, it was just an illusion. That wasn't me. No. But it is who you have become of late. I know I got us here. Don't get us off. I will get us out. You will follow orders. But maybe that's not who I am. It had better be. Now let me focus. Don't need to hurry you, but faster. Let me think. See Baldur up ahead. No. No, I would never stay out of sight. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, witch. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. God to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Never feel again? Yes. Yes. I would rather. Yes. Take it away, Mother. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Trust me in time. Yes. 
I won't. Ruin my life. Honey, we can figure this out. I promise. Trust me. I know how to. <laughs> I never want to see you again. Never. <laughs> Freya is his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? What you I would did not. To me? Uh. I'm at a loss. I assure you have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. Entirely sure this is Silver Bay. She will do. Give me space to work. What is the help? What can I do? You have done enough. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Here, Temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall, which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanier built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Skiflothnir? Yeah, because it was designed to fly. This was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Chopping it? Just watch. You 
cut the cells loose. So now what? Pulling the sails down? But how are they gonna catch the wind? We're floating! The heat from the fires! We're actually floating! Stay with the boat. I can't believe it. We just made a huge sky lantern. I said stay on the boat. Staying on the boat. We need to talk, brother. You do realize it's over, don't you? Even if we make it back to Midgard, you and Balder destroyed the only gate to Jotunheim. We are out of options. And that boy up there, he's in nine kinds of pain. His head's turned so far around. Atreus. I can help? Together now. We 
are going to get out of here. Face me, father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. How long before we reach the temple? Yeah. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad.
your plan! You're both cracked! We are leaving this realm. Now! As long as we didn't wreck our way back. This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Concealed by tears so none could access but him and those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we are the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That's symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, <laughs> unity. Oh, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. But when I think about Balder and Freya. The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? <laughs> Tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! 
Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Weird, did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. There. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. The yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Now we just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Save magic to protect the black rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Odinon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? 
Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it's here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's... right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside-down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving! What's moving? Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. the death traps. Brother, why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? And let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. Oh! Look out! 
Focus up! Chain waits. is so important. <laughs> Truly do you hate this part? I know.
I, for one, never doubted it. Just agree to stop saying flip the temple. It's starting to sound normal. Brothers, I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just trying to be helpful. I'll be quite happy to be... See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Jotunheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lads found his equilibrium. What's that mean? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. And that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Well, 
hell? What have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. So what do you think, Lemire? What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What did we have that Odin King of Gods? The Aesir Eye. His reach is not unlimited, and where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do! The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. <laughs> no, this is considerably worse. <laughs> Oh, 
bring us next? I do not know. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence, the stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. Sure love to make a racket, don't you? Pleasure. Now fuck right along. I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot, but for years I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Hey guys, 
question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> He wanted me to build a... He showed it to me, you see, and I... The client... Sorry, will you excuse me? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! <laughs> We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Now we need good what's more to the horse. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? By the by, he's not wild about it either. So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. Brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the Giant's Belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah! 
Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. Bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. The water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Aye. Most of it. There, the hammer. Maybe if that was closer. idea where Odin hid your eye? No. It's not like I can still see through it. Yep, that's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting fate? Out. We signal. Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good. Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Hold tight and watch your balance! The board shift in! I'm gonna- I have to.
I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! Freya. We can still trust her. Right? Until we know for certain. Keep her distance. The world serpent. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel. <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! Ah! No! no! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my 
my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. Is she controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, woman. You cannot. He means to kill you. Oh! <laughs> 
father himself could not. I've never felt more alive! Uh, ironic, isn't it? Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right. 
I won't stop. I know. What? No, father! I love you. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. 
but I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Bye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted, Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. I only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat, we had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess. Legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? You know what? I'll tell this one later. That alchemist were needed finding. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready! Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come.
Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. 
but why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home.
guess it all, it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow! wow. You actually told a good story. We you missed it. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? 